Hi, this is Vic. On this video, I'm going to show you how to import and export bill of materials and do a little bit of change management. I'm going to go ahead and import a bill of materials from my file system. It's going to be an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm going to choose a very simple uh, pump assembly that I already have. I'm going to go ahead and select the file from my file system, and uh, let me find it here a moment. Uh, okay, there it is. Now, before I actually go ahead and import it, let me show you that particular spreadsheet so that uh, you can see. It's very simple. Now, the key thing on this spreadsheet, on this Excel spreadsheet, you need to keep in mind is you must have a column attribute called part number. And all the other uh, columns or properties, as we call them, can be uh, called anything you like. So once I'm ready, I can go ahead and import the uh, Excel spreadsheet into OpenBOM and that will bring in all the data and uh, columns or properties into OpenBOM. And now I have complete flexibility to change them, to add, I can share this bill of materials with others, uh, etc. But what I'd like to do and just show you is that I can go ahead and capture a moment in time or as we say a revision uh, of this bill of materials because let's say I want to get started and I want to capture this is the uh, version or rather the revision that I imported when I uh, started off and if I now would like to go back okay and make changes to the original spreadsheet I imported. Let me go ahead and bring it in. Here it is. This is exactly the same one I brought in. Now what I can do is, because changes happen, right? I could uh, uh, share this uh, spreadsheet with somebody else. Somebody else will make changes. They'll send it back to me. Uh, or uh, I can go ahead and uh, make changes with material costs. The supplier might change. Whatever the case might be. In this case, you see me just making some random changes here. I'm even going to add a few more uh, manufacturing part numbers uh, to this bill of material. The point I'm making here is that to that same and original Excel spreadsheet that I imported into OpenBOM, I can go ahead and make changes. Now what, and what, and by the way, I need to save it, of course, so don't forget to save it. Now I can go ahead and import this spreadsheet back into OpenBOM and the changes will automatically be merged into OpenBOM. Okay, so you heard correct. And to import now, I go and click the import button here on the upper right. I select the uh, file. It's going to be this exactly the same one, but now there's been changes to it, right? And if it's a different version of the same file, as long as all the attributes and the format hasn't changed, uh, it won't really matter. So I can go ahead and import that and look at this. You see all the changes that I made, if you recall, to quantity. I also made changes to the material cost. I uh, changed the supplier names and I also added these three uh, manufacturing part numbers. Those are now captured. And what I can also do now is capture yet another revision. Let's say I want to say, hey, I want uh, this is now uh, after some changes, I want to capture these revisions. The beauty is that now I can go and toggle between the original. This is what I originally imported. And I can also now go back and say, OK, uh, this is revision two, which is the one that, uh, you know, reflects some of the changes. I can go back to latest state, of course, and continue making changes. I can capture a history of all the changes by whom and when and what that were made to this bill of materials or when it was imported. I can also create a change report between revision, for example, one and two, and that will output an Excel sheet with all the changes that happened to this bomb, not only between revision one and two, but with all the other revisions that I create uh, or all the or any other changes I make in this bill of materials that I create a revision for. Now I'm going to export. Let's say I want to now send this to to uh, procurement and I'm going to create a, uh, you know, uh, an Excel or a CSV or a PDF. I it turns out that I can import to all of those. I'm going to choose a PDF uh, file uh, in this case. Right. And I can save some of the uh, settings for the bill of material that I may have worked on. But what I want to show you here is that I can go ahead and create a PDF in this case of this bill of material. And I can go ahead and send that uh, to my procurement or my supplier, etc. So if you'd like to learn more, visit www.openbomb.com and working and in, with OpenBomb importing and Excel and, and exporting uh, 
uh, spreadsheets is easy peasy. Thank you very much. Bye now.